61. Well, I wasn't even going to ask that. But I don't mind. I was going to say many, many years later. <laughs> yes. Uh, but you were certainly born here, as we said, and went yes. to school here and so on. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the book we're going to talk about is called War in My Town. Mm -hmm. And actually, there's a trailer that your publisher did. Maybe we can call for that to be shown. Of course. And it's, um, it's a trailer for the book that shows the town you write about as well. Mm -hmm. So maybe production will uh, show to us. And we can chat about it as we see it, Edie, so you can look at the, uh, mm -hmm. at the screen. And so Second Story Press is your publisher? The publisher, yes. And mm -hmm. there's the book. That's the cover. And we have a, uh, some of it, uh, yes. at least a cover here in the studio as well. Yes. That is the town, actually. So uh, that is a shot of the, uh, the back of the town. Bell Tower and the church at the top. Um, this is a shot, of course, of um, uh, Nazi soldiers. In the town, of course, we'll talk about that in a second. Yes. And of course, it was wartime, Second World War, yes. and those are, yes. uh, you know, some of the ruins some there, the ruins. and some of the soldiers. War comes to the region, of course. You know, um, <laughs> changes the landscape, upsets the, um, you know, the natural order of things in the region. Uh, and ultimately, and Bruna is your mom. Bruna is my mother. Yes, and uh, they ultimately occupy her village in in the retreat in. Uh, um, the end of 1944 and into 1945. So, and of course, it's a true story. It is based, um, each one of the characters in the story are, are absolutely 100% real. The events in the story are real. And um, I think it's a very important book. It's, uh, it's an important book uh, to learn from, I think, for kids. Um, it's engaging at the same time. And it's, that's something that children really need in order to be able to, uh, in order to be able to learn, is for a book to be engaging. And of course, uh, that, that uh, inscription there talks about the didactic nature of the book. It teaches kids, yes. entertains them, because yes. it's uh, an interesting story, mm -hmm. but it also teaches them about an event that uh, was traumatic for mm -hmm. the world, and uh, the Second World War, uh, world War was certainly that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's the uh, it's a story. It's the story that your mother um, told you. So how did that germinate, Edie? How how did uh, uh, I mean, would your would your mother simply sit down and recount the story? Well, how did that happen? I've heard my brother and I have heard these stories all our lives, and uh, it's there's something that would be uh, shared over dinner or at family gatherings. Um, so they're really something that I was familiar with, uh, the events. Uh, when she heard that I was writing, she said to me, well, you know, why don't you write this down? Why don't you write my stories down? And I thought, well, it's true. A lot of the things that are in this book, you know, you can't make it up. Your mother's so, still with us? Yes, she is. And so she, she is. has she read the book? She's read the book several times over, yes. I mean, she's, my mother self suffers from Alzheimer's, so uh -huh. for her, it's, it's, uh, it's the first time every time she reads it. Uh, of course. <laughs> so, but of course. she loves it, yes. And she was very proud, very proud and very, very humbled that, uh, um, you know, that, that it was published. But, um, uh, yeah, so, I mean, there are stories that we heard um, over many years. And, of course, I had to interview her um, to get some of the details down. But for me, it was, it was very simple to write. It was, it's, it's simply a recount. It's a memoir. It's her memoir. And it's a memoir of my father's uh, experiences, too, because together they're... Um, made, they're made even more poignant now because of your mother's illness. Yes. Uh, if that story were not written down... Uh, mm -hmm. for your daughters and yes. their children and grandchildren. They would be lost. It would be lost. Wouldn't, yes. it? wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be a shame? It would be lost, yes. And, and I, you know, I shared that experience. When we chatted earlier, I told you that my own father, who was also a soldier in the Second World War in the Army, mm -hmm. would tell us all kinds of stories. Uh, um, my brother and I and then his grandchildren when they were old enough to mm -hmm. understand. And we always wanted to tape him so that we wouldn't lose the stories. Never did. Yeah. And so those stories are gone. And, and one of the points you make in the book is that just as your mother has a story to tell, everybody's mother has a story to tell. Yes, yes. And so is there true. a lesson there that it's we true. should all be writing something down? Well, if, if uh, I think that in every life, there's, every life holds a book. Every life holds history. You know, um, there are millions of stories that are possibly very similar to that one, but they'll never be heard. 
So I think um, I think it's an important it's an important story to get out there because hearing about this this time, um, teaching children that these events happened and how traumatic they were to their grandparents and to uh, you know to their um, to their ancestors. I don't think it's something that kids can really get enough of. There's always a lesson in history. The problem is, is that people don't, they don't heed the lessons of history, right? And we repeat it sometimes yes. because of that. So I'm interested in the art of, of, of writing and, uh, and what you might have to go through as a new novelist, as a new writer. Mm -hmm to actually get yourself published. So now you've written the book. Mm -hmm. um, at what point did you decide that this was good enough to publish? Because a lot of authors keep stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Even published authors and very good authors, or at least those who have achieved a certain amount of fame, mm -hmm. uh, keep some manuscripts in their, in their, you know, in their studies. Mm -hmm. When did you decide oh, yeah. that this was good enough to publish? Uh, I had, um, well, I sent it out there. Really, and when when it comes to when it comes to books, when it comes to your manuscripts, you're really bearing your soul. I had uh, my, some of my friends read Alice of the Rocks, and it was the hardest thing for me to do as a first published work, you know, to be able to have other people read it and to think to myself, evil what are they? Right? There is. I mean, what are they thinking? Is it good? Is it bad? Or 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 what? But um, I think that you really have to have confidence in yourself as a writer to let other people read it and to accept the criticism that comes along with it. I think that's, that's something that you have to come to terms with, that if you're, if you're going to send something out there for people to read, you're going to have to expect that not everyone's going to like it. And so you have to kind of develop. develop you get ready for a rejection. Like you do, of yeah. course you do. And I've had many. Sounds like, sounds I've like, had many. Sounds like politics, by the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You put yourself out, and sometimes you'll say thanks, but no thanks. You do. So, so, but in your case, um, you got published. These are two different publishers, right? They are. Why two different ones? Uh, well, some publishers specialize in in certain things, and um, they're they're, you know, for example, the first. They don't take memoirs, so and I I had already sent Warren My Town out to uh, a publisher who specializes in um, uh, history of in terms of Holocaust and uh, and Holocaust studies and and stories about women and set, which is Second Story Press, um, and the other did accept Alice of the Rocks, and Second Story Press did accept Warren My Town, so it's. So talk, talk to me a little bit about um, the, the business side of the business. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly, you've invested a lot of time and talent in telling the story. Mm -hmm. um, how, how important is the, um, the earning side, the, you know, wanting to make a little bit of a profit side? Okay, to well, this? I mean, I, I would starve if I had to rely on, <laughs> on authoring. It's not, not after this show. So. But, I hope not, but um, uh, you know, it's it's not something that it's not something that I do for for money. Well, in fact, it, whatever money you make, you're going to give some away, aren't you? Yeah, I am for a war in my town. It's uh, um, just because of the inspiration. It was because of my mother's Alzheimer's that I did begin to uh, to write her stories down. And you've received an advance, and you've already given I some have. of that money to uh, I have the Alzheimer's to the Society, Alzheimer's well, Society which yes, is very generous. And every uh, thank you very much. And uh, the sale from every book, a portion of it will go to uh, the Alzheimer's Society of Ontario in support of uh, those suffering from Alzheimer's and their caregivers. So how can people buy this book? Is it in a bookstore? Uh, you, you can go online to the publisher. There are some, I believe it's some independent publish, independent um, bookstores who are going to carry it. Um, if uh, I think you have my website. So We're going to put your website on yes. uh, because you, we can uh, we can get uh, well, we can get information on how yeah. to purchase the book through exactly. that website yep. as well. You can, um, and there are links to my publisher um, on that website. Yes. So, R.K. Rowling does that name ring a bell? J.K. Uh, Rowling. J.K. Yes. Rowling. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. R.K.s are fabulous. Less known since. <laughs> <laughs> so J.K. Rowling, fabulously fabulous. successful. Yes. The mm -hmm. whole Harry Potter stuff. 
Are you sort of hoping that somebody will latch on to this? Oh, my goodness, like yes. I could take a little of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We did have the website on. So Thank if you, you want to help out Alzheimer's and read a good book, you can do that. Thank you very much. Elio is the name of the town. Elio. Mm -hmm. uh, Elio, uh, War My Town. It's yes. a town in Tuscany, as we've already said. Mm -hmm. Uh, and your mother comes from, a, tell us a little bit about your mother's family and your grandmother. And the question is this, what did you learn about your grandmother and mother in writing this book? Um, I learned that my grandmother was a very strong woman. Um, she raised a family of seven on her own. Her husband was away. Yes. He was in Brazil. He was in Brazil. They had moved there when they when they were first married, and he, he, worked, um, he worked there because the situation there was just better for him. And she had. To, she actually came back on a boat with the, ch the children, and expecting my mother. And my mother was born in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. She's very proud of that. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And uh, so um, my my mother never did met, meet her um, her father. And uh, like I said, her 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 mother raised seven children on her own. Uh, and my mother, I think, found a lot of strength, found a lot of her strength from my grandmother and the fact that uh, in those days, that just didn't happen very no. often, no. you know? And, and so your grandmother raised seven children. Your mother was one of the children. Was she yes. the youngest? She was the youngest. She was the youngest. She was born on the youngest, on that trip. yes. And, um, and there were a couple of older brothers and some sisters as yes. well. Mm -hmm. And, of course, she was the, 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 the youngest of the brood, and mm -hmm. the older ones were even working they were. elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet there was this strength, this family strength and this pleasure in each other's company during feast times yes, as well. exactly. And then, of course, the war happened, right? Mm -hmm. And it disrupted everything. This was a village of 500 people. Very small. Very small, small village. A remote village, really, because they only built the roads to the town after, um, after the war. You had to get there, uh, you know, by bicycle. It was very difficult to get there. So, um, but, you know, they found strength in each other. They found strength in each other, and especially through this very, uh, you know, it was this terrible time. They relied on, on each other in right. order to be able to survive. And, and so, um, you know, the war is disruptive. Mm -hmm. The Nazis came in um, with their, as we saw in the pictures, with their weaponry and, and so on, and, mm -hmm. and threats, and some villages were actually um, uh, massacred by the Nazis yes. if, uh, you know, the policy was that... If one was of the soldiers was killed, they'd kill ten for every one that was killed, right. and some towns actually were destroyed. Mm -hmm. um, your mother was obviously fearful. The children they were all fearful of the war, mm -hmm. but the experience. Did, did your mother talk about what she learned from the experience? What it did to mature her views during the experience? I think that um, well, she matured as a person. Uh, I think through the experience, and I think. Uh, she probably, she gained, I think, a, a much more of a, um, I want to say, a, an appreciation, I think, for life than she would have otherwise. Um, she lived in a very idyllic kind of town. Um, you know, everyone knew each other, everyone helped each other. And, uh, and then through this upheaval, I think she, she came to appreciate very much what she had. Um, and um, I think it only translates in what she has inculcated into, uh, into myself and into my brother, you know, an appreciation of what you have. And that theme really comes through. And, of course, there's sadness, there's tragedy in the war. There's also happiness. And your mother did meet your father uh, yes. uh, very early in, in the book. Uh, they, they, they sort of casually know each other. They kind of grew up together. And then yes. they did grow up together. And then, of yes. course, uh, and then of course they did get mm -hmm. together. Listen, um, May the 2nd is a very special day. What yes. day of the week is that? It's a Saturday. And what's happening? It's a Saturday. Day? It's uh, the Hamilton uh, book launch for War in My Town. And it's, uh, uh, it's an event that is put on by, in conjunction with the Second Story Press, the publisher, and with Hamilton Public, Public Library. And it's happening at the Central Branch uh, at 2 o'clock. And everyone is welcome. So May the 2nd, will you do a reading May the 2nd. Well? I will. I will do a reading. Right. And so... My pleasure. And uh, audience Q&A. So we're out of...